All right, guys. So today I have um, a turtle that was donated to me uh, sometime last week. I wanted to be able to share this guy with you. Um, this turtle is a little bit special. So this is an alligator snapping turtle juvenile that a guy donated to me that was moving and wasn't able to take him with him when he moved to uh, another state where he was going to go to college. And as you can see, he is a... <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily call him happy, but he is a healthy little juvenile. Uh, he does have these interesting infections going on with his eyes, so that's something that I'm going to be treating. Uh, there, what it is, is it's like there's some bacteria that gets in there in the eyes, and you can see that that one on the left is a little bit less swollen than the much more swollen one on the right. And uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to try and cure that naturally. I mean, it's not going to heal overnight. It is going to take a little bit of time. But this is a captive bred alligator snapping turtle that he originally got from John Richards. Um, as you've seen in a previous video, I went up to John's place and uh, was able to see where he hatches these guys and, um, you know, hatches out healthy little active alligator snapping turtles. So what we're going to do today is actually put this guy in this setup. And, you know, the water in here has plenty of plants and leaves. And this is what I had started um, my little Florida snapping turtles on. And so he can kind of get underneath all these plants and has like a nice little world under there. And the leaves and the plants keep it at a lower pH. And that lower pH is gonna really help inhibit bacterial growth. Um, so it's gonna help with his eyes and it's gonna help with, you know, any other infections, um, kind of preventing them as a whole. And it'll, you know, this guy will just feel so much more comfortable down there. There's also substrate. Um, we can kind of let him crawl in there. He's gonna get to kind of get in there and bury into it. These guys really love the feeling of getting underneath stuff and being underneath plants. So I think he's gonna um, do nicely. Now this isn't gonna be a permanent home eventually. Uh, once his eyes straighten out and once he's been through like a quarantine period, I might even introduce him to the aquascape pond, especially that wetland filtration area, I think is gonna be just really good for him. Um, and he'll be able to get down in that. But uh, if you look at the bottom of this thing, if I reach down here, hopefully he doesn't bite it. Um, this has like a substrate to it. So there's some gravel mixed with some sand so he can get kind of down in that and he'll do fine in here. Again, this is only gonna be for a few weeks, but this is a nice little natural area. This simulates, you know, kind of the habitat that you find uh, juvenile alligator snapping turtles in. Uh, a lot of times they'll be in floodplain swamps, uh, little areas, uh, kind of side sloughs of rivers that are gonna get overrun with, you know, plants and uh, just, you know, all the kind of swampier, you know, slow water stuff. And he'll be able to just kind of sit in here and be able to lure for some fish. We're gonna add some more fish and stuff into here. We're gonna go over to uh, one of the other ponds and net out some fish and add them, add them in here. We might even like thin out the plants a little bit to kind of open it up a little bit more. Uh, but I think overall, this guy's gonna do great in here. So to kind of compare those eyes, so this is what a healthy set of eyes should look like. So you see that they're not bulging out. You look down from the top, they're not sticking out. Um, so that's the goal. That's where we want this guy's eyes to get is to where they look like, oh, please don't bite me. We want his eyes to get very similar to what this guy has. Um, the goal would be to get them, you know, down to where they, you know, fit flush in the cranium and aren't sticking out and doesn't doesn't seem to irritate him. You know, I noticed when I picked him up, he was kind of rubbing his eyes. So obviously that infection does irritate him a little bit and we want to get him to where he's a bit more healthy looking like this guy. So uh, that's the ultimate goal. Hopefully being able to use a setup like this is going to be what gets us there. Um, so I just wanted to introduce you guys to that, to that turtle, show you that uh, I did add that guy to my permit. So he'll be able to come with me for education and, um, fantastic animal it's gonna be fun treating him and seeing him you know kind of progress over time so uh thank you guys for watching this video and i'll catch y'all later